All right, what's up, guys? How's it going? Welcome to another episode slash podcast of The Starting Gate. Um, we're here today with Brennan from Gold Rush Discovery. If you, hi, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't watched the show, you should probably get into it. And uh, I imagine a lot of you already do. I watch the show. Chad watches the show, of course. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we're gonna go live on our phones and answer questions and then post this obviously on my YouTube channel. So let's get get into it. This is our sweet studio for tonight. It's pretty neat, pretty nice. All the computers are doing work since since we're not doing work. Yeah. <laughs> and these are Chad's bibs. He doesn't take them off ever. Nope. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll get this thing. This is our sweet tripod. Hopefully it works. Good, good. You look good. How do you feel? Feeling good. First time? First time ever. I've been on camera in a few months. No. <laughs> All right. How's it going? Introduce yourself. Well, my name is Brendan Ruelt. I grew up in with Chad Potter here from everywhere, Potter Shots, and uh, finally got to meet you. So things are going pretty good. Had a fun day on the lake. Oh, it was a pretty epic day on the lake. <laughs> it was. Finally got out of the house and did something and yeah, enjoyed some yeah. winter sports. We had some beers in the shop last night, so. <laughs> so, did you watch my videos before? To be honest, I don't even watch much YouTube, so I don't. But did you know who I was before? I've heard of you. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. okay, yep. okay. Yeah, because I've been watching Gold Rush, I think, for six years now. How long have you been on? I'll be going into my fifth season this, this uh, spring coming up here, so. That's crazy. Yeah. Is that exciting for you? Yeah, it's turned itself into a job now. <laughs> it was exciting at first. Yeah, the first like, few yeah. years seeing the gold was actually pretty cool. But uh, no, it is pretty exciting. I mean, every year is a new adventure. And, yeah. you know, get to meet a lot of people involved with the show. And a lot of our film crews from across seas, like the majority is from the UK. And mm -hmm. so you get to meet a lot of different people and walks of life and learn a lot. And uh, it makes it a pretty interesting time, right? Like mm -hmm. you're in a small place of fifteen hundred people year round, <laughs> yeah. and you meet people from ten thousand miles there's away. There's millions of people watching. Yeah, usually it's like people want to watch like you know big city stuff, but <laughs> yeah. you're like small town. You basically get, you guys have made the community up there, you know, of all the miners, and that's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's uh, the, the amount of tourism that's happened i think probably because of the show bringing it back is yeah i bet it's pretty well people that come to the yukon now right yeah like you'll be working in the claim and somebody will pull up in a car from germany yeah, it's parker's claim <laughs> like, yeah. i was just driving by actually just driving by we're 85 miles in the bush <laughs> <laughs> I was in BC, figured I'd swing through. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you swung through all right. All right, so we're actually, as we're doing this, we're going to go live on Instagram and answer our fan questions too. So let's do that now. All right. So you know how to do that. Have you ever gone live before? Man, I just crawled out of my cave. <laughs> <laughs> just so busy working up there, I don't even pay attention to this. So. All right, switch over to live there. Okay. Oh, I guess I should switch my camera on how do I do that. Boom. You're now live. This is the first time you got live. First time. All right. So hi, guys, everyone that's watching right now. We're live with Brennan from Gold Rush Discovery. We're doing a little podcast thing. There's our camera, guys. Yeah. This is our studio. <laughs> so if you guys want to ask questions, hi. Hey, this is Nor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys hear that, too? We got two phones going right now. But uh, yeah, we're, we're filming a video, and if you guys want to ask questions to me or to Brennan, feel free to do that now, and uh, or during the during our live thing. We should. And, yeah. Um, maybe we'll start with, oh, how's the snowmobiling trip? <laughs> <laughs> well, the snowmobiling trip's been going good. Um, there's been a ton of snow here. Uh, it's been busy, busy, wild every day. Uh, yeah, Chad, Chad Potter from Potter Shots brought me out here and it's just been, I expected a nice, a nice long trip, you know, some sledding, some relaxing, some tourism. No, it's been like five till nine every Oh, <laughs> yeah, you guys showed up last day, like, you need a day off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, uh, no, we had like a half day today and then we decided we wanted to fly a snowmobile, so... It was pretty interesting. You were there for that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it on the uh, on the computer before, but never in real life, so yeah, it was pretty interesting. I've seen it circulate. You always see that pop up on Facebook, the um, 
you know, all those videos on there. It's like, is that snowman flying by? <laughs> and then, and then uh, Eric Audi messaged me. He's like, hey, I'm the guy that does that. I'm like, oh, from Invermere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, let's set these up over there for now. Okay. Um, we got all the sweet tripods today. Those are nice. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, where do we begin? You've been on the show for five years now. You're going in your fifth? Going into my fifth season. Okay. Yep. So, you know, you've worked your way up. Yeah, Rick, took, Rick had the opportunity to go on his own, so now I'll be... I never got the foreman position last season, the season we just finished. Did but, you want uh, it? I, yeah, I did want it, you know, then I'd seen it after a few months, probably wasn't going to happen, but that was okay with that, you know, the things worked out great for me this season, so mm. I got to take over Big Red. Yeah. So I was basically in charge of that whole operation down there and had that so responsibility. Like for Big Red. Yeah, and yeah. then, you know, but I had a little smaller crew to maintain, and... We had our new foreman who maintained all of it, so it was kind of nice. We'd worked together well, and everything uh, ran pretty smooth. But uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. I'm not gonna lose sweat over it. Still <laughs> a good, good job and yeah. good crew to work with. So don't give away uh, all the secrets from the. Show. No, 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 for sure. What episode is on right now? I think last night was episode eighteen, if I remember right. And how many episodes are there? I think there's twenty two or. Twenty-two and a half. Jeez, so we're yeah. coming to the end of the season. Yeah, already. I can't believe it. So when do you guys go till? Um, we're usually gone till October sometimes. So wow, and the they film. Everything. They film right to. Oh, no, you guys to, leave. To the second we're gone. Yeah. Wow. And how big is the film crew? Oh, between all three mine sites, I, I think they said something over seventy people or something. Seventy people. That's yeah, crazy. crazy. It's funny you, you watch a show and like. Once in a while, you see a drone shot, and you'll see like nine like of the film crew, like the camera guy, the audio guy, the producer, and it's like, like where does everyone just stay? <laughs> yeah, there's ca they have the camps up there as well. So, yeah, yeah. I couldn't imagine for like deadliest catch, like on those boats oh. where all the, the the crew stays, right? Yeah, I heard people sleep on tables and like on the around the table and stuff. And I couldn't imagine being on terrified. That'd be uh, the first time <laughs> yeah. on the forty foot ocean. Yeah, <laughs> when there's. 30 foot waves, oh. ice chunks flying over the side of the boat. Guys are holding on to the cage like this. <laughs> <out, fall laughs> the off. audio guys out there. Yeah. Do that again. Oh, the oh, they're wet. Washed away. <laughs> yeah. So cool. So you're heading back in a few weeks? Yeah. <laughs> I know you don't want to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I think I might be heading up a little bit early just to help get things opened up and counted and stuff for when everybody's ready to show up as far as the last time I spoke with Parker there. So, um, I'm sure it'll probably still be minus 35 out there for the month of March, so I'm not excited about that. I mean, now the sun's popping out every day, and it's blue Apparently, day, the, so. the days are getting two minutes longer every day. Eric, yeah. Eric told me that today. I was like, ooh, good. My yeah. birthday is the second shortest day of the year. Oh, really? It's the December 20th, and December 21st is the shortest day of the year. So it's <laughs> like, yeah, 4 p.m. or 4 30, it's dark. You're like, ugh. Well, so they have summer solstice in the. Uh, in Dawson City. Oh, really? Yeah, so the 21st, I think, of June it is. And mm -hmm. uh, the longest day of the year, but I mean, the sun never goes down in the months <laughs> of summer. So, so how the hell do you see. tell? Yeah. Other than just watching where it is in the sky, <laughs> right? It's uh, so weird the first time you see that, like the sun actually does. It starts to go down, and it's like, no! Yeah. No. <laughs> I was in Iceland, and it did that. And we had, like, you have to wear a sleep mask because the room's always bright. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. I know we have tinfoil all over our windows and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's it looks a little weird when you pull it. As long as you don't wear the tinfoil hat. Yeah. <laughs> They're coming for us, too. I don't know. The cow trails. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's cool. So it was a good year this year? Yeah, very good season. Uh, lots of hard work to be done. I mean, yeah. a lot of setbacks with Tony at the start. But, I mean, as always, we seem to overcome our obstacles. And, you know, uh, it's make so the dramatic best watching the show. It's always like, are they going to make it? Oh, man, So it you was, can't give away all the... There's a lot of times there's a part of the brain, you know, you come this far away, you're like, God almighty. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was a good season, so. Good, good. Let everybody watch it till, see what they think of it. So, yeah, for, I've been hooked on the show for a long time. My brother got me into it, actually, and then I think he got out of it. And then I'm like, did you see the last episode? He's like, oh, I haven't watched it in a year. <laughs> so I've been sending him pictures of us, and he's like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 
He was pretty blown away by the um, the snowmobile with uh, the wing on it today. Oh, I can imagine. Because I think he tagged me in that like years ago originally whenever he did the first video there. And now it's like, hey, guess what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we tied a dinghy to the back of an Outlander and ripped the nuts off that thing too. So tail bones are intact. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one time he went over the bump, I just put my hand under and I'm like, oh, broken wrist or broken tailbone? What do we want? So don't cross the ice path. Like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Actually, that was a riot. <laughs> yep, was we got, fun. We gotta go. <laughs> Man, the arm pump was like riding a four-stroke thumper and just hold on to that paddle I'm like oh. oh especially when you get swinging too like, oh, yeah. yeah i was just waiting to catch him like <laughs> slow motion <laughs> well i was waiting for the quad to catch with me on the back I'm yeah sure i'm a little bit heavier than you and that swung right out i see the tires going I'm like, <laughs> you basically just stopped the quad like you were pulling me at one point like, oh. <laughs> Because like, at one point you swing around, you get so close, feel as if you get poof, poof, and roll right on top of the tube. <laughs> uh -oh. yeah. Do you want to uh, answer some fan questions? Sure. Just pull your phone up there. Okay, I'll let you pick one. Oh, I'll pick You're one. the master of this <laughs> stuff. Uh, hey, man. Hey, Brandon. How about Parker? That was Parker. You know, Parker's really good every year. Um, you know, he's been maturing as we go. And like this year, I mean, I know we had our. We Ups have our down. tiffs all the time, but you know, it's just part of working. I get along with the guy great, you know, on the on the big picture. Yeah. And who doesn't get frustrated? We're under a lot of pressure. We have a short season to get things done. As they, as you see on the show, and we constantly talk about, like, I mean, you know, six months or whatever, 180 days, doesn't sound like much until you've got quick. the grind and the ground's not thawing and mm -hmm. plants in every minute down does count at the yeah. end of the day. So, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we all come together and, you know, we all live in a tight community, about 20 <laughs> of us for six months and we make it good. And uh, uh, he's actually really come a long ways and I really enjoyed working with him this year. It's been yeah. a great year. So, um, you know, looking forward to this one even being better yet. Has he set the goal for next year yet? Or? I haven't heard what the goal is, <laughs> yeah. but I'm sure if I'm it sure goes up every yeah, year. I'm like, sure as soon as the cameras come out, it's going to be like, oh. 10,000 ounces. <laughs> you know, next thing I'll be there till December, <laughs> get the ice <laughs> off the wash pad. <laughs> Just like living. deadly as catch just pow! Yeah. Oh, just be on. living there full time. Yeah, eh? I didn't just buy a house in BC to live in the UK. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do we need here? Um, good, good, good. I think uh, it says good going, brother. I think you will get your own plant and set up next season. Is that a goal of yours? Uh, you know, I've. I've read a lot of very positive feedback on social media and stuff and it's been a lot of this has popped up that I've uh, seen and I just couldn't tell you if it will happen I would sure love the opportunity but I mean yeah. I'm also Seems in a great stressful well it is and I'm in a pretty great place too you know we work yeah. a long ways like we've I've been with Parker for well, five years you know like we've worked our way up to get where we are and it doesn't happen overnight you no, know what I mean no. like I see Rick stresses as a new mind boss this year and I'm just like you know, yeah, it's your money that is, you know. Yeah, like it's, <laughs> every time something breaks, it's out of your pocket. And it's not just, oh, no. Someone else will fix it. <laughs> exactly, right? But I mean, if the opportunities arise, how can a guy want to say no? But I mean, yeah. I, I am happy where I'm at now, and I'm just keep working as hard as I do. Maybe things will be different in the future for me, but. Mm -hmm. um, as far as that, I, I just can't say that that will happen. And there's yeah. a lot of stress and a lot of money involved. And like the thing up there is it's so far away from anything mm -hmm. that the prices are astronomical. To just order a goddamn banana is like <laughs> fucking eight dollars. Eight dollars, you know. Sorry, excuse my language, but it's it's crazy. How much is diesel up there? Oh I don't gosh. even know what <laughs> what it is. I don't even pay attention. Just <laughs> you go to town, you just like put the card in. I don't want to know. <laughs> Cause it's do or take my money. Yeah. I don't want a receipt. No, no, don't tell me. <laughs> oh, let's get another question here. Um, oh, there's a ton. Jennings. I don't know which question to ask. Or <laughs> Someone said they love the cup holders. Right on. Potter yeah. shots and chain works. Cheers. Cheers. So Chad made these. Um, they're available to order online. Obviously, there's ones that fit Dixie cups, and there's one that fit cans as well. 
and they actually you know? compress and fit as you push them down so they don't fall out when you take a drink. It's, yeah. It's a pretty so, awesome idea and they're pretty comfy on the hand. Check that out. I actually grabbed that sticker over there. It's uh, chain, chain Works. So, boom, right there. If you guys want to check that out, it might visit backwards on there. Anyways, um, more questions, more questions. What do we got? You got a ton of questions. Always, um, folks. Does your family stay all season up there with you? Uh, they come up from about the end of May, start of June until August. They're oh, okay. kind of head back. So it's a, uh, sure makes things a lot easier because there's a, it's a long, long time to live, uh, live off of <laughs> FaceTime. Oh my God. And, yeah. and like, I'm gone from seven in the morning until seven, seven night, this yeah. season. Like I put in tons of 16 hour days. So like, you know, I would, you don't get to talk for that long. Plus we're an hour behind oh, from okay. British Columbia or yeah, Alberta yeah. and everything. So you know, living that text message life is tough. Like, <laughs> it's a tough one. Yeah. I tell all my friends, no pictures of boating, no don't, pictures of anything fun in the summer. Just how about you defriend me while I'm gone so I don't <laughs> cry my eyes out every yeah. day. Just so, throw your phone out. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, bring out a flip phone or something. Hey, look what we did. Oh, yeah. Off to work. Yeah. <laughs> What's <laughs> the gold tally today? Yeah, I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This year I bought that lawn and I tell you, that was like the best money ever spent. Spent. Oh yeah, like three hundred bucks for a nice little chunk of like real solid oh, yeah, laid down. Oh yeah, <laughs> like people are like, oh you chachi, you're so chachi. And they're like loser. I'm like, what? Are, and next thing you know, we'd have our weekend off. We'd have a few beers or something on the days <laughs> off. On the and I would wake up in the morning and there'd be people passing on my lawn. I'd go <laughs> on the broom and get the hell out of here. Like, I'll put the mic. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're like, they missed my home. I'm like, if you call me loser for buying this, they're like, no, I take it back. <laughs> oh, you need the white picket fences. Too. Are you gonna build one this year? The little mailbox at the end. Exactly. Oh my god! I did, is that in the the show? The one? Yeah, it was on uh, one of the first episode of the Dirt this year. That oh, right on before. Oh yeah, so. I haven't watched the Dirt in a while. I've been yeah, on yeah, because I bought bought a brand new uh, camper too, a nice big fifth wheel, so they made nice. a, a big thing on. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Soon you're gonna have like a basketball court, baseball field, <laughs> play yeah. plays. Exactly. <laughs> we need a big uh, mud bog pit for the toys. Yeah, yeah. Um, is it weird living in the trailer that long? Uh, I'm used to it now, but it does take some adjustment because you gotta think what a trailer eight feet wide. You know? Yeah, it's not a big. No, but I mean, the guy. We all work so much here. Really, just there to sleep. Yeah, you know? and we you don't really cook meals in there. Do you? No, we have camp cooking everything in the park through there. So yeah, that's but, nice. Eh? Yeah, I mean weekends and stuff. Don't mind grilling around. Yeah, <laughs> barbecue, barbecue and some steaks and some beers. Do you guys and, work weekends or? Uh, we usually do like a shift work. You know, mm -hmm. depending on things, but. A lot of times I just work straight through because there's not much to do. <laughs> Stuff Keep like yourself to do. occupied to sit in the trailer. You're just like, Keep oh, your hands. yeah, yeah. <laughs> do I do? Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, let's pull up another question here. Um, how do I apply to be a part of the crew on Gold Rush once I graduate? <laughs> Come nice and back. I don't know. I get so many uh, people asking me that. I mean, and I, I just don't talk to Parker a whole lot. He's yeah. right. And by the time I get there, he's got a lot of the season figured out. You know, mm. he's a pretty busy dude. I don't. Yeah. How do you think? How do you get hired? Um, just luck of the draw. A friend of mine. I worked in the coal mines in uh, Ferdy, Fernie, in British Columbia. Okay. And uh, met a group of guys there. Well, five years later, he started his own mechanic company. Parker got a hold of him, I think he had an ad or something on the internet, and uh, he got up there and he called me one day, he's like, hey, where are you, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I was going to move to Alberta, I'm thinking of you know, a decent job, and he called me at this, and I said, holy, like, that's pretty cool, and I said, I'd love the experience, you know, and mm. learning about it in kids, is in school, on gold mining, there's always something <laughs> every person seems to want to do, yeah, that's good for and you. it ended up just working out for me, so that, and that was actually Carl Rosk, who is Rick's mechanic now, so he was only on the show for a short period on season six, which was uh, the both of our first seasons. This is one of those, like, the, the great big beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's like, a his hair is always, it you know, yeah. looks like he just woke up. <laughs> he's always like, <laughs> yeah, he's so excited. He's always excited. <laughs> I love Carl, he's hilarious. He seems like a good guy. Oh, yeah. Hard working bastard, too, man. He's a good dude. <laughs> no time to shave. Just <laughs> oh, no, no. He likes looking like he's lived up there for his whole life. <laughs> yeah. He's born here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, good guy. That's 
there, say, what else we got? Mm -hmm. What year is your XMR? Oh, shoot, what year did I buy that? I think it's uh, 16. Right. I think this is my third year I'll have owned it now. And you, what, you got 600 kilometers or something? Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it said 690 when we started today. Oh, right, really, did it? Yeah. We probably got about 720 with yeah, all those tires. Yeah, exactly. Uh, when will Parker cut his hair? I don't think he ever will. He loves it. We always used to bug him about it. Oh, right? Really? Yeah. Yeah, he, and the one time it got real long, he cut it himself. <laughs> and it looked like he went to a hairdresser. He's like, my mom couldn't even believe I did this. And I was like, what? That's amazing. Your hair was yeah. so long. <laughs> yeah, dude, like people, I feel like half the guys just go up there and they just stop cutting hair, and just stop shaving. Well, you, yeah, pretty much. Like, <laughs> you don't realize a month has passed you by. You're like, like looking at the little volleyball. Wilson! <laughs> you think, oh my God. Uh, fingernails are up here. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't showered in a week. Oh, uh, shower? What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Dive in the pond. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Swim with the beavers, clean uh, up a little. <laughs> yeah. We did a road trip out east this year and... Uh, we didn't want to use the shower in the motorhome, so literally every lake we drove by, you just pull over, dive in, pits, hair, done. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, yeah. There's no time to stop for like four guys to shower. No. Uh, just hit the water. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <laughs> Big Cat loves like, his green grass. Big Cat loves his green grass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm liking uh, the Big Cat's take it off because it's been a nickname for a close group of buddies around here for a lot of years I, now. Yeah. You need to start a clothing line or something. <laughs> oh, well, uh, my friend Zach, who works for us, um, he bought me that one I wore on the dirt, and it's like a cat throwing hundred dollar bills like I was <laughs> and then you got your what the Gucci sunglasses like the Bruchachi <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious uh, what else we got here Mark you should go gold mining <laughs> maybe I'll, uh, apparently I should go gold mining. oh yeah <laughs> maybe I'll swing up for a week this year <laughs> pull some shenanigans yeah, up yeah I'll bring an old car we'll jump it or something yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, what else we got Brennan your accent is beautiful don't call me a new fee. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you filmed a video with Brennan, right? Yeah, of course we did. Yeah, yes, I we think, did. What are we at? Three now. I well, so. I guess if you include this one, this will be our third video. Yep. And then some Snapchats, so. Yeah. We basically broke into his house last night. We were driving by, and literally, as we drove by, I didn't even know where he lived, but Chad knows. He's like, hey, let's, let's swing in, see what he's doing. <laughs> You're like, get in here. Yeah, that was uh, awesome. Yeah, I'm getting so many texts like, uh, why are you with Brennan from Gold Rush? I'm like, oh, that's just the norm out here. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's a celebrity in Invermere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what else we got? What is... Uh, do you still talk to Rick? Uh, yeah. I, well, you know, to be honest, like, we're... Where our camp is to his is like 12 miles or something downstream, but there's no roads, so like it's an hour and a half drive around. And oh, okay. we're all, all of us are working long, long, yeah, long yeah. days, you know, and it, the weather didn't cooperate this year. So usually we had a lot more um, higher temperatures to help us with thaw. So everybody's behind behind the gun on that one. So we had to work the extra. Mm -hmm. So none of us really got to venture away. I seen him a few times, you know, and we're still buddies. And I mean, um, just, Work gets in the way of anything, yeah. it seems like, you know, sometimes if we were in town or something on a weekend off, we'd get to see each other, it was very rarely, but. It's so weird on the show, because they're like, oh, like, you know, two miles upstream, but you don't realize to get two miles upstream, you either take a plane or you have to drive two hours yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> Unless exactly. you get the uh, the dinghy, the Discovery 200, yeah. that we had today, and um, <laughs> or the Explorer 200. The Explorer 200. Yeah. yeah. And float downstream. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, should we switch phones? Yes, we should. All right. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I hope you realize that we have duct taped the phone to the tripod. <laughs> so Professional studio. Yeah, is we have a full <laughs> studio going here. I'm going to show you guys real quick. Hey, Chad. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, so we've duct taped this phone to the tripod. Oh, I love it. All right, how do I turn back around? Um, questions, questions. I don't even know what to. Uh, I have six other requests to group FaceTime. Uh, where can I get that cup? Well, this is just a plastic cup with a sticker on it. But <clears throat> Chad makes these these cup holders from Chainworks. Instagram. Hold on. There. If 
you guys want to check them out on Instagram, it's called chainworks.ca. That's where you get those, and they have they have uh, actual can holders and then the red cup holders. So, all right, questions. What do you want? Are you getting an ice bike? You should have. You should be asking me these. Oh, I'm no good at this. My first time. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time. <laughs> hmm. Can you please accept my friend request? <laughs> oh. No, Are we friends on Facebook yet? Do you even have Facebook? Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we're friends on Facebook, but I don't really use Facebook. Facebook. No, I know I've been kind of Facebook kind of sucks now. It's just like videos and I can't believe you dye your hair red, Mark. Oh, is that Brad? That is Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go live, that's Brad's calling. Me. He's we're mutual friends. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, I do dye it. How do you keep your uh, machines in good condition? I don't know what product to use to wash my machines. Well, first, the best way to do it is put a graphic kit on your machine. Second, every time you take it out, wash it after. A lot of people will take their machine out and put it in the garage, and they don't really know that dirt, you know, dirt stains, oh, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's like, how I could explain it is, imagine not showering for a month. Yeah. It'd be pretty freaking gross. Oh, so oh, yeah. if you don't wash your machine for a month, it's gonna be gross too, and eventually it's gonna stay. Are you getting it something here? It's basically like coming off the uh, the mountain after you know, yeah, twelve hour day, or coming off the, the construction site there, the mine site. Yeah, yeah, that's not well. So the best way to do it is just you know, as soon as you're done, clean it, put it in the shop. You know, you can buy some polish, polish her up, but put a, put a graphic kit on and just clean your stuff. Looks better shiny anyways. Yeah, exactly. But I didn't buy it for it to stay shiny. You gotta take in the mud and clean it up there. Exactly. <clears throat> um, what else we got? How much snow was up there where you were riding Mark with the uh, Potter Shots team? Well, in Invermere, there's not really, what, a couple inches on the lawn? Yeah, not much in town, but... Yeah, but as soon as, like, you know, we're obviously lower out to... Out. And elevation. Elevation. I was thinking altitude and elevation. <laughs> Altivation. Altivation. Anyways, but as soon as you go up the mountain, like it, it turns into this stuff, right? Like one area we were at the other day, I think we put the probe down. It's a 10 foot probe and it didn't even hit the bottom, right? Holy smokes. Yeah, but, and I think it was probably what, three feet of powder, three, four feet. And yeah. At one point, like, you know, you're up to your chest and you're just trying to make sure the sled doesn't stall out with all the stud and all the snow coming in so it all depends where you go every mountain's different um every mountain has a different elevation that you go up to but uh, yeah the average snow i think we've been in is like three feet of powder probably eight ten feet deep so i'm gonna miss this week it's supposed to snow for the next four days i guess oh, well, probably a good thing <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna want to sleep for a month yeah after you i know home. need to go home take a take a five day break hmm Hmm. Hmm. Are you ever gonna get a uh, get a pro RMK? No, I hate Polaris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't hate Polaris. I'm just not a big. <clears throat> I don't know. I've always been Skidoo, and uh, now that I have the Can Am Maverick too, so I've rode an RMK once. It was a little rough, but um, for now, I think I'll just stay on Team Skidoo. Yeah. Do you sure. have a sled? No, I sold mine last season. I yeah. just never ended up getting one this year. So yeah, like it doesn't snow enough back home to even yeah make sense to get a sled anymore. And you're obviously not here. No, so it wouldn't make sense for you to buy a sled either. Well, and like I said earlier, I was just like, you know, I'm gone so long. The bush is nice to come home, just not be in the bush. You know? <laughs> yeah. As much as I love being in the mountains and sledding yeah. and everything that comes along with it, I just tear it out. What uh, What time are we going on there? 28 minutes. Oh, cool. We'll continue it. It's probably their phones out in WF. What's uh, the next X3 mod? Ooh, we got some big mods this week, actually. I uh, So I took the Maverick in before I left. And so you guys knew I blew the belt and blew the belt cover up. So I got a new belt cover. It's got a belt cover guard, like an aluminum guard from Alba Racing that goes on the inside. So <clears throat> if I blow a belt again, it won't explode. I got new A-arms from Super ATV. I got new, I forget what they're called, control arms, like the arms that go to the back. 
back tires. New those, I got um, LED light whips from Super ATV and I think that's it. Oh, and quick release pins for the belt guard or the belt cover because apparently I'm hard on belts. <laughs> apparently if you drive things to the floor, it's just you're hard on them. How the hell do you have fun without doing that? I know, I don't know. that's the only way I know how. I've never broken an engine. I've literally straight out of the showroom, wide open. I was always taught that how you break in an engine is how you're gonna drive it. Because mm. if you break it in, like, you know, just being normal on it, that's how it's gonna react. Yeah, if it's wide open, it just stretches it out, gets it ready. <laughs> the first day I bought my, uh... 850 and took it off the back of the truck. Poof, 103 went down by my house. Whoa! Like, this thing's awesome. Yeah. Donuts yeah. burn out. <laughs> All right, she's broken now. Yeah. What town do you live in in Ontario? What town do you live in in Ontario? Just keep your feet together. Okay. Copy paste. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm from Thorndale, so I'm just about 15 minutes from northeast of London. So I live in the country. I don't think, I used to live in the city when I was like, before, like five and younger, but uh, now, yeah, I just, you know, live in the country. Once you go to the country, you don't go back, oh. right? Especially, you know, view like yours. Yeah. So you know, we got a pretty good view too, but there's no mountains there. We have a river. Yeah. Where <laughs> I live, just don't say to live river. It's just, it seems like the valley gets a little bit tighter in that spot. Like, you know, yeah. sit on my front deck, I got gorgeous Rockies and on the back deck, you oh, know, it's just. Perfect. Every time I, I see no. that, I think of like, Longmire or the ranch, mm -hmm. like the Netflix series. Yeah. Oh, I just love it. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll move out here one day. Oh, I, you know, I moved away for a few years to the Okanagan and I love it there. <laughs> Believe me, I'd love to be back yeah. in that place. But then I moved to Alberta for a little bit and I just living in the prairies and no mountains and just <laughs> like, oh, yeah. this is not for me. Anything past Alberta, I was just like, you can watch your dog run away for a week. Never been any farther east than a uh, little town called Bagerville, which is. Oh, right. Kind of on the other side of Edmonton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Super, super small little place, but that was far enough for me. I'm like, yeah. man, I grew up in the mountains. I need to be there. <coughs> what else we got there? <sighs> we had some questions, people. Who's going riding this weekend? You get lots of thumbs up and oh, high yeah, fives and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Who's going riding this weekend? I think I'm going to take riding off for about four days when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My hands are like carpal tunnel right now. Like, you wake up in the morning and everything hurts. <laughs> so I think what we've gone six, seven days now. I flew in last Wednesday, so yeah, we've been out every day. Even today, we rode a we rode a dinghy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so and a flying snowmobile. That was interesting. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Have I you think... seen that before? No, like in person. No, not in person. <laughs> I've known Eric for quite a few years. Oh, like... Okay. He's Wait. quite a character, right? Yeah. <laughs> Runs and jumps, or he just jumps off as you're like catwalk through the air. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna jump off now. I'm like, drive, I'm like, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> he's eating to sound like a married couple. He's just screaming at you, throttle faster, throttle no, faster, higher, faster. Yeah. Do you imagine if we took off from like a mountain flying through the air? We'd be yeah. fighting in that air, faster, left, right. Yeah. Uh, well, this one says, uh, I love your dirt bike videos. Do you still talk to Cassie? Oh, yeah, Cassie. Okay. And she does, um, she does a world uh, freestyle tour now. So she's a good friend of mine. She rides dirt bikes. She's got more style than any guy I've ever seen. And she's like five feet tall. So, okay. hi, Cassie, if you're watching this. Perfect. Um, you want to switch back to your phone again? <clears throat> sure. Let's throw mine up there. I like this. I've never done this before. Usually we don't have that many iPhones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wow, we're really, we're really down here. Um, have you ever been to Barrie, Ontario? Have you ever been to Ontario? No, I've never been farther east than that. No, no, <laughs> than that. Really, yeah. No, I have you ever been anywhere else in the world? Yeah. Yes, I have. Been to uh, Jamaica, and was Washington, there. and um, Vegas, Wisconsin. I actually went down and visited Rick a couple years ago. Is that? Yeah, he's from there. Right? Yeah. We're in the Milwaukee area, and then uh, pretty much uh, that's about it. I haven't really traveled a whole lot, to be honest with you. I've always been into buying toys and yeah. and just 
seem to let work get in the way of anything <laughs> that enjoys a life. So yeah, both will start to get a travel bug and then <laughs> see what's out there and watch it on TV. <laughs> You'll just get home and buy more toys. Pretty, that. so hard not to. I, I went, to, went down to Cranbrook to buy a sled and I ended up coming home with a general. I'm like, ah. I was like, well, I'll buy a sled next one. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll get them next year. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, sweet. Uh, what else do we What is Parker hiring? <laughs> I feel like hiring. Parker's always hiring, but yeah, that's a question you have to try and ask him because yeah. uh, DM Parker, he'll yeah, exactly send him your resume. Um, a lot of people want to get hired. Oh, Brad's commenting on your live feed now. Oh, is he? Dye your hair red like Mark. It looks so natural. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure my kids will have it if I have any. Yeah, my own man's a yeah, full blown redhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your beard. My beard is a little red yeah. in the different. Have you grown it out past that yet? Yeah, uh, not much longer than this, no. Because no. sometimes if you grow it up real big, like it. Someone said they see no white, but the other day I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so 30, I can't have white hair yet. <laughs> <laughs> Working in the mine, you're going to have white hair oh, soon. I'm going to have such bad crow's feet, start smoking and stressed out. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you don't smoke yet. No, I'm glad I haven't, man. <laughs> Sitting in a machine all day, I try to smoke eight packs, just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys smoke up there. Yeah, a few of them do for sure. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Uh, do you enjoy logging in the bush? Uh, yeah, for sure. I, it's actually what I grew up doing with my dad. I mean, he's had me in the bush since I was six months old. And uh, the first machine I ever ran was a skitter, which if anybody knows about logging, but it takes the trees to the wide spot to be bucked up into length. And uh that pretty much what fueled my passion for operating equipment and from there I just got to get on with another crew and I just always went out every break I had from school I wasn't a normal kid like it would join your summer <laughs> right like, was running. seven years old I was allowed back then and uh that's what I'd do with dad you know I'd learn how to cut trees because he used the chains all the time and this and that and now that I'm happy that I have because I've gotten to this point in my life, but yeah. I mean, now I think back, why didn't you enjoy your childhood, man? Like, work's gonna be here until yeah, they the day say that every, like, every year. Why aren't you enjoying your 20s? Why are you yeah. doing this? It's like, well, I got better stories than all of you, anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. Now all the toys just cost way more, so oh, you need to work all the time. God. <laughs> One day we'll figure it out. Probably yeah. not. I hope so. <laughs> that long of that then, is it. Yeah, then Can Am's gonna come out with something sweeter. Oh, every year. Oh, it's a new steering wheel. I better buy it. <laughs> yeah. A new truck. Yeah. <laughs> they changed the Chevy emblem. You need it. <laughs> it lights up now. Yeah. <laughs> Four, please. <laughs> oh, right. I was gonna ask you something, but I totally forgot. Right? <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I don't even know what. Uh, what What's the biggest dozer you ran? Uh, just that D10T uh, that Parker owns there. I've, I've run a few of them, but I've been dying to try and get on a D11. I just have never been able to. Uh, been at a job site that actually has one, and I've been able to get the opportunity to be on. So. Yeah, what's the biggest they have? Uh, the Komatsu 575. It's huge, like 1,000 <laughs> horsepower. I've never seen one up close. Yeah. Uh, one guy that mines beside us, he has two 475s. And there's a bitch, picture I put on Facebook or Instagram, I think, of me standing in front of the blade. Yeah. I'm like this, like you yeah, look like an ant there. Yeah, like the size of the house. Yeah, like it's insane. You sit in the cab, you can't see anything. Like you, you know, you you just judge the distance before you get there where yeah. you are. It's massive. Well, if it makes you feel better, the biggest side in town is a six fifty. Sure. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was building dirt bike jumps though. Um, uh, I did carry my gold pan on the back though, just in case. Well, you, you never, never know when you're gonna <laughs> strike your right turn. Right on this top of soil. <laughs> yeah, down in London, Ontario, we uh, hit, the, hit the gold mine there. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Parker's Trail. <laughs> London, Ontario! <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, uh, what else we got? Um, Nova Scotia. Oh, they love all the content we're posting, so that's good. Nice. Um, do you get your hair cut like twice a week? Uh, once every two weeks if I had the 
If I was around more, I'd definitely do it once a week for sure. It always looks like you're clean cut on video. I just cannot stand my sides being long. I don't oh, know really? pet peeve of mine. Do you guys have a barber up there? Or do you no, we all just cut our own hair. So <laughs> that's why we don't leave a hat because the, the hairline goes like this. <laughs> yeah. and, and it just... sticks out. Nobody knows how to blend. It looks like crap. So I'm like, you know, as long as the hat, even if it sat like an old dude like this, I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine cut my own hair and be like, oh. 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 I've tried before to like, are you trying cut the line straight you know you like, like, uh, just lift your hat up and then use your hat as a line but the problem is the hair on the top's that long because it's been two months for you <laughs> just, 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 just run the bowl cut yeah your pumpkin pie hair cut it freak <laughs> 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 look like lloyd christmas <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. who would rick win in an arm wrestling you or rick I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs> I'm a terrible arm wrestler. My mom would probably beat me. <laughs> I'm an arm wrestler in years. Do people still do that? I don't know. The last time I did, though, we were at uh, a friend's wedding, and this tall, skinny dude, and we are like, come on, wrestle him, wrestle him. I'm like, I'm like, no, I'm not. I don't have the technique. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, because I was working out, and, you know, I was in a lot better shape than I am right now. Okay. <laughs> that's why they kept, you look like you think you're a tough guy. I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Wow! Instant tennis elbow. Man. <laughs> oh, like you're trying to shovel the tracks on that big 700 excavator. Just ting, ah, ting. Like, oh man, it just burned inside for right. a month. Oh. No more arm wrestling for Brad. <laughs> Rick, you'll take that one, buddy. Yeah, Rick, yeah, <laughs> you can have right. it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> All right, we'll do a, we'll do a few more questions and then we'll lock her up. Okay. Um, I don't even know what to say. I don't know. Very few questions. About There's so many questions. They're so random. Um, how did you get into the gold mining industry? I guess I think we answered that already. Yeah, and I mean, this wasn't also my first time being in a gold mine. I never actually got to handle gold, but um, in northern BC, there was a huge gold mine going in, mm -hmm. and I kind of went from the coal mines up to to there because it was like a sister company I worked for, yeah, and helped them out. So it's pretty neat because that's an actual like drill and blast like you know it's not a plaster mine like we do up north yeah so that'll be like a huge the shovels the huge trucks uh, yeah, and everything yeah. so it was kind of neat though to be a part of that and see a different scale of operation and, mm -hmm. and they weren't quite to the point that they got to mine yet they're setting it all up so being mm -hmm. part of building all of that was pretty <clears throat> a pretty cool adventure because all i knew living in this valley was logging i grew up that's been one of the main industries here for for a lot of people, um, that in the mill and mm -hmm. a couple little mines. So it was nice to venture out and do new things and, uh, you know, just learn a lot more to better, yeah. better my career, what I know how to do. Mm -hmm. so. Did, uh, my question is, did you watch Gold Rush before being Since on the Since day one. Yeah. And I always <laughs> sat all there. all fans. Oh yeah, I'll sat there on the couch like everybody, this is how the <laughs> hell would I ever get a job up here? Like, <laughs> yeah. I wonder where you apply, waiting, where this. Waiting for the total at the end of the show. Yeah. Hey, what are they going to get this week? Thinking, I remember back then too here, no, it's a 160 day season. I remember looking at dad. That's nothing. <laughs> now that I have to live it, that's a lot. <laughs> it's full till oh. full time. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. All right. Do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, just had a good time meeting you, man. It's been yeah, great. It's and I uh, had some fun, even though it's been only a couple short days here and stuff. But uh, yeah, come forward. sled next time. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> look forward. Hopefully, maybe come down and visit you yeah, or here, jump some cars. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got no gold down there, but uh, that's okay. I don't need to look at it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably sick of it by yeah. now. The yeah. safe's about to break in half. No? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do you know what I'm the uh, live feed here and then we'll wrap up this video. It's just on the top, top right there. Bye. All right, see you guys. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. I like saying bye, it's easy. Bye. We had 755 viewers. Holy smokes. 234. <laughs> that, so does that almost make us a thousand? That does. <sighs> Pretty close. So, anyways, um, yeah. Did I finish this out? Um, well, thank you, Brent, for being on the, the starting game. Yeah, thanks um, for having me, man. I appreciate that very much. Been, it's been a hell of a week. Very random week. Um, I didn't think I'd be meeting you when I came here. <laughs> yeah. One of the, like, only shows I watch is Gold Rush and then, like, a couple Netflix series, like Suits and 
I don't know, there's so many Netflix series now. I can't even keep up. Everyone's like, you have you have like some fire shows on now where everyone's like, you should watch. I'm like, I literally haven't watched TV in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. So I feel bad because I haven't seen a lot of stuff, but I can see when I'm gone. I just I don't even hardly I don't even know I have a phone. I can <laughs> yeah. text at night. Like, just get a flip phone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just work eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work. Yeah, for, uh, exactly. five years of that I'm just like, oh, <laughs> Just want to get home and yeah. relax and not even really talk to everyone. So no. Sorry, guys. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, anyways, thank you for coming out. Yeah, for um, sure. Cheers. Make sure you guys check out Potter Shots and Chainworks. If you guys are interested in these sweet chain cup holders, they do make um, ones for cans and for red cups. So we'll hold that up. If you guys want to check that out, check them out on Instagram. And have a fantastic night. We'll see you later. Whoop, whoop.